evaluating multiple choice questions exam through performing item discrimination analysis in Excel by using a data extracted from student exam results. The item discrimination will be calculated based on Kelly's method. Item discrimination, abbreviated ID, is a method proposed by Kelly in 1939. It is a measure of whether an item, which is a question in this case, distinguishes between students who learned the subject content well and students who did not. The measure is based on the comparison of performance between excellent and poor students in the exam as a whole. The item discrimination is calculated by arranging the student total score from the test in a descending order. Group the students based on their scores into upper group and lower group. The upper group contains the top 27% of overall scores and the lower group includes the lowest 27% of overall scores. Count the number of the correct items in the upper group and then count the number of the correct items in the lower group, then subtract the correct questions in the bottom group from the correct questions in the top group. Then use the Kelly's formula to calculate the item discrimination as given here. The ID equal to upper group, minus lower group divided by 27% of total student, i.e. calculating the upper group proportion and the lower group, group proportion and subtracting them to get the ID. An ID percentage also can be calculated by multiplying the ID product with 100. Now, the item discrimination values range from minus 1 to plus 1 based on the equation of Kelly's. The outcome of the calculation have a range of minus 1 to plus 1. Positive value of plus 1 indicates that the item is discriminating between high performer and low performers and plus one indicates a perfectly discriminating item. Zero value means that the item is not discriminating between high performers and low performers. On the other hand, negative value of minus one means that the item discriminates perfectly except that low performing students answering item correctly and high performing student answering it wrongly. As shown here in the table, the range for the ID va value is uh, listed and the item are classified as either bad item when the ID value is from 0 to 0.24 that is based on Kelly's formula. Good item when the value is between 0.25 to 0.39. Excellent item when the value is between 0.4 and 1. If the ID value is minus, then the item is very bad and 
it is recommended to remove and exclude the item from the exam or the test using Kelly's equation in item discrimination analysis to evaluate multiple choice exam questions in Excel to identify questions that are good in discriminating high performing students from low performing students and to classify the questions as either a good question or a bad question following the equation of item discrimination equal to upper group minus lower group divided by 27 percent of the total students and we're going to perform the analysis in excel here i have a data from an excel sheet from exam results for 20 students answering 20 multiple choice questions from question number one to question number 20 and the score for each question is in recorded as either zero or one zero is the wrong answer one is the correct answer so here we have a categorical data dichotomous data two possible categories zero or one and we want to determine the item discrimination for the 20 questions to determine which question of these are good and which are bad based on the analysis and the first step to do the item discrimination following the equation proposed by Kelly's is to calculate the total score or the overall mark achieved by each individual student so we are going to generate here a column and we call it overall mark and to calculate the overall mark for each individual participant we need to add the score from all the questions from q1 to q20 all together and the way to do that click on the cell here insert equal sign then type sum select the sum formula and in the sum formula drag the range of the data to calculate the sum from q1 to q20 a value is calculated 17 the grade or the mark the overall mark for the first student is 17 and to calculate the rest we just need to drag and hold and drag the value to the last student so to auto calculate and auto fill the value for the over mark for each individual student so we've calculated the overall mark the next step in item discrimination is to arrange or rank those over all mark from high to low from descending in a descending order and the way to do that is to click on the data itself select the whole data and then click on sort filter and use custom sort in the custom sort make sure that this my data has headers is ticked and we're going to use the column which is labeled over all mark as this is our reference for do doing the item uh, uh, and item discrimination analysis and a reference for ranking the data from high to low and we're going to rank the data in the order of the largest to the smallest if we click on ok again we can see here that the software has arrange the data from the highest to the lowest so the lowest score by students was 8 out of 20 and the highest is 17 out of 20. now following the arrangement of the overall scores in descending order we need to generate the upper group and the lower group so we're going to type here upper group lower group then id for id discrimination and then id percentage 
and 2 calculate the upper group proportion and the lower group proportion we're going to use the ranked value on the overall mark and for the upper group proportion we need to select the top 27 percent of the total student who achieve total marks and for the lower group select the lowest 27 percent of the total score so student who scored lowest so we have to generate two group and the number of the student to select will be equal to if we have 20 questions or 20 students sorry 20 students and we want to arrange them into upper and lower group and we want from the upper group to include 27 percent then we multiply that by 27 to get a value of 5.6 which will be approximated to six so each group upper and lower each one of them will have six students in it the scores for the six students for the upper and the lower group and to calculate the upper group values and I'm going here just to highlight this, divide these uh, groups, this data into upper and lower. So if I select the first top six students and label them, give them a label of green, as this is the upper one, and the lowest group six, select uh, from it as lowest six students going to keep it red now what we want to do here for the upper value we need to insert the equal sign and then type sum and select the sum formula in the sum formula we are going to select the first six values here in for q1 close the bracket and then open another bracket and put the sum formula in a bracket and then divide that by six since we have six students so this is the way to calculate upper group proportion if you click on enter the value is generated and we're going to do the same for the lower group in the lower group we're going to insert the equal sign and then type sum and then we are going to select for question number one the six values the lowest six values here close the bracket again doing the same thing put the sum formula with the value in brackets divide that by six as the lower group has six students in it press enter a value has been generated now to auto fill and auto calculate the value for the rest of the group of the questions from Q2 to Q20 we're going to select sorry undo select the first row drag it to calculate and auto fill the value for the upper group and do the same thing for the lower group select and auto and drag to the last question number 20 and a value is generated for the upper and lower group so here we have now upper group and lower group and the next step to determine the item discrimination is to subtract this upper group from the sorry lower group from the upper group and the way to do that is click on insert click on the cell insert equal select the first value here from the upper then select then put the minus sign and then select the lower group and then click enter a value is generated for id there so this is the uh, item discrimination for question number one again drag and select and drag to auto fill and auto calculate for the rest of the questions so here we have the value for item discrimination for the 20 questions i'm going to decrease the decimals to make it a little bit um, 
by clicking on formula form for for cell format and then number decimal we are going to make it change it or make it keep it three or even I'm going to change it to, to two to make it much easier to compare item discrimination value range from minus one to plus one a very good question good question has a value 0.4 or greater a good question has a value of 0.25 to 0.39 and the bad question had a value of or a value less than 0.25 and also ID value can be 0 or even it can be from 0 to minus 1 So they, those are all the possible range of value from minus one to plus one. In the first cell here for question number one for the ID, the ID value is 0.33. This is a good question as it can discriminate between high performing student and low performing student. The second question has a ID value of zero. Zero means that the question is not discriminating between high performing and low performing. So this is considered to be a bad question. So zero indicate the question is bad and zero indicate the question is bad and question number four or so. So question two, three, four are bad questions and uh, they ought to be removed or excluded from the exam or rewritten in another way that it's the ID for it will be higher for this question number five the id is 0.5 which is really a, a very good value and this question is very good as it is greater than 0.4 and this question is very good in discriminating between excellent students and poor performing students in this also id value for question number six, the value is minus 0.17. This question is discriminating between high performing and low performing, but the low performing students are scoring the questions correctly and the high performing students are scoring the question wrongly. So this question ought to be removed from the exam as it is not discriminating and uh, omitting it from the exam is the best way to um, get rid of it. Others value here, we can see here, there is a question which is number 16 has a value of 0.83. This is a very good question. In fact, an excellent question in discriminating between high and low students. Question number 19 and... 20 and question number 13 has a, a, a B, a, a, an ID value of 0.17 which is below the range here anything less than 0.25 is considered to be a bad question so this one and this one and this one is a bad question ought to be uh, removed from the exam and this one minus one is also ought to be removed from the exam. These zero value for the ID are bad questions that they do not have the power to discriminate between high and high and low performing student. So this is the advantage of using item discrimination analysis based on the Keeley's formula as it will permit identifying and evaluating questions and determining which questions are good 
which are very good which are bad to remove from the test here as we can see out of the 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 seven questions out of the 20 questions for the multiple choice for this exam are a very bad questions that has to be removed from the future exams so this is the way to do an item discrimination analysis in excel first first you have to calculate the overall score arrange the overall scores in ranks from high to low and then group the student into upper and lower group and calculate the proportion in each group and then determine the id value for each question we could also do a id percentage by inserting in this here equal sign and then selecting this and multiplying selecting the id value multiplying it by 100 to generate the percentage of the id and we auto fill and auto calculate for the rest of the questions and also uh, uh, we can reduce the decimal point here to something manageable and easy to recognize so this is the benefit and the advantage of using id for assessing exam multiple choice exam questions